You asked for it, so today we're going to be having a look at how to install mods on Total Extreme Wrestling 2016. Hello and welcome to a Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 tutorial video. I'm Kev and coming up in this video we're going to look at how to install real world mods to use in Total Extreme Wrestling 2016. So the best place to start and the place I started when I did this for the first time was the Grey Dog Software Forums. You should already be familiar with the Grey Dog Software website because if you've bought the game or downloaded the free trial of the game you've had to do it from this website because as I've mentioned to quite a few of you down in the comments of the Total Extreme Wrestling series that I've been doing you can't get this game on Steam. You can get some of the older ones on there but if you want the most recent version 2016 or you want that nice juicy two month trial of the game um, then you need to go to the Grey Dog Software website, which is greydogsoftware.com. Link to that down in the description below. Once you get here, there is a whole sub forum set up for mods. It's called Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 Mods. There are other places on the internet you can go for, uh, for mods for the game. You can just search on Google to find them. I'm showing you the easiest one and the one that I used to start with. I've looked around at some other ones since as well. And the best place for me, for you to go and start, would be the Mod Index thread. And in here, it gives you a list of a whole load of mods that are currently being made or have been made for the game. So we've got real world mods, uh, monthly updates to data, which is the one I used, fantasy mods, um, mods for the actual uh, database that comes in the game, the Cornell verse, and so much stuff, graphics mods. Um, different skins for the game. I've not even experimented with skins for the game yet, but I know it's something I want to be having a look at. But we're here to look at how to add a real world mod. You can pick real world from history, so we can have 1999, um, we can have a 2005, so different points in history if you want to do it. But the one I would recommend you start with if you just want to do current WWE or some other company stuff is the monthly real world mod by The Who 87. This is the one that I used. And once you click on it, it takes you to all the download links that you need. So the first thing that you need to do is download the database, the graphics and the workers, which is the pictures of all of the individual people who are in the database. So just click on each of them and it will take you to a download area where you can download the files. They're tiny. I mean, 3.65 megabytes is nothing. And we just get all three of these downloaded so that we can use them. And we'll need to install them all separately which we'll have a look at doing in just a moment, unless you want to watch me download them, but that doesn't make for a good video. So once you've got all three of those zip files downloaded and unzipped them, your downloads folder will look something a little bit like this, possibly with a few more bits in it. I had a little spring clean before you lot came along. So you've got these three different folders. You've got the February database, the February graphics pack, and the workers graphics pack. So that's more of a generic long-term thing so that each monthly one doesn't have to be such a massive file so before we do anything else you need to then go into the game so i've already got the game loaded up as always you need to be running it in administrator mode for it to be able to do all this stuff properly which if you play the game you know that anyway and we need to create a new database from in the game before we can do anything else so we need to go into the editor and we want to create a database. We have to give it a name. The name can't have any spaces in it, maximum of 24 characters. So we're gonna call this the who Feb. I've already got this installed, which is why I'm not just calling it February 2017. Um, click create and it's created a database for us called the who 2017. Important next step, close Total Extreme Wrestling because if you don't, the next bit seems to corrupt and I'm not really sure why. So once you've done that, if you then navigate to wherever you keep Total Extreme Wrestling on your computer, which for me is in this folder, handily called TW2016, and it should look like that. And you need to copy and paste bits of this into the right folders. The first place we go is the databases folder. We find our data. Look at all these different databases I've got already. I've only had this game a month. Um, click on the Who Feb 27, uh, the Who Feb Feb, because that's the one we've just created, and this is the file that we need to replace. TW 2017. So we go into the first of our downloads that we had from before, the one that's just called February 2017. We go into the default folder and we just grab this version of TW 2016 and drag and drop it on top of that version. We want to replace the file, and that's just changing the database. 
database changed. It's as simple as that. You could run the game from there, but the graphics won't be up to date. So if you've got wrestlers who now look different or brands that have changed their logos and all that kind of stuff, it wouldn't quite work. If you're really pressed for space, you can leave it there and start the game. But, you know, we all want we want it to look right as well. So we go all the way back out to our Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 folder. And now we want to go into pictures. And in pictures, again, we go into the name of the folder that we've created. So mine is called The Who Feb. And then we've got all these different folders are just full of loads of different pictures. And we want to go into our picture folders and we want the February pictures pack. We just highlight all of that, drag it over onto there. When it asks us if we, asks us if we want to replace stuff, we say yes. If it doesn't, we don't have to respond because it hasn't asked us anything. So that's transferred all of that across. And then we go into the other folder, the worker pack, and we just drag that one across as well. And that will just fill in that people folder. And as you can see, if you watch really quickly, it's got all the names of the different wrestlers as they get transferred in. So these are just little mini pictures of them that you can then see in the game. The only reason this is separate to the other images file is because it would be a massive file to download if they're all lumped in together. So that one should transfer over for you now. And it's all in there. So at this point, we can load the game back up again in administrator mode. And then from within the game, we should now have our database created from before. So we can now start a new game with our new database. Before we do that, we do just need to make sure that we've got the right picture folder um, installed so you just go into the editor folder that you used before to create the database click on edit database database info and then you're just making sure that it has the right picture folder selected so mine's still showing the default folder so all those pictures we've just installed won't work so if we just click on there we can then pick the picture folder that we want it to use when it's using this database so we want to use the one we've just installed all that stuff into and then you can also pick things in here like when you want the game to start we want it to start in February because it's February data. We save that, we close that, we go all the way back to here and then we can just start up a new game, call it whatever you want to call it and then once it's loaded up it should have all the up-to-date data so we'll just load up a game and make sure that everything is in there. We've got all the right wrestlers where we expect them to be and we have all the correct pictures both for the companies, the brands and the wrestlers within them. So once we get into the game, as you can see, it's starting us off in week one of February 2017. And if we go and have a look at the rosters, then it should be fully up to date. So I don't even know who's the newest signings who've appeared in the WWE recently. I have, there's no one who's standing out on, uh, on here as being someone who shouldn't be in the game. Goldberg's in there. Um, a lot of the recent Cruiserweight and NXT call-ups are in there. And most importantly, it's it's just got all of the real life, real life stuff with real life pictures, even down to road agents, backroom staff, everybody's in there. And not only in WWE, but in all the other companies as well. So we can have a look at um, NXT, for example, have a look at their roster. But TN, uh, TNA is just as up to date. Ring of Honor, they're all fully up to date. It's an incredible amount of work has gone into this this mod so if you are interested in getting it, make sure you follow through that link. Make sure you say thank you to the man because I can't even begin to imagine the hours and hours he must pour into keeping this up to date every month. But it's very much appreciated. And that is how you install a monthly real world mod onto Total Extreme Wrestling 2016. I hope you enjoyed doing it. Let me know down in the comments what you what company you end up running, how it turns out, who do you book for WrestleMania? Because I'm working towards that in my own Road to WrestleMania series. I'm interested to see how people do it differently from me. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a like on there for me. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Have a look around. There's a regular Total Extreme Wrestling series going on on the channel, as well as Football Manager and other gaming content as well. So you're very much welcome aboard. And thank you very much for watching.